Hi friends, I wanted to bring up something I have been noticing repeatedly regarding spider mites infestation. Take a look at this watermelon plant in my Aero Garden Bounty. It started drying up a few days back, but I held off pulling it out because there is a watermelon ripening on it. Now the plant has completely dried up. Whenever I leave dead growth on a plant like this, I notice spider mites developing. Now observe this watermelon closely. It is completely covered with spider mites. I have several gardens around this watermelon plant and I haven't had any issues with spider mites until now. The moment I had this plant with lots of dead growth, I started seeing spider mites. So it's not a matter of where they are coming from. New life begins right on the plant. This has happened to me many times and it is very consistent. Every time when I leave dead growth on the plant like this, I see spider mites infestation. If I don't remove this plant immediately, the infestation will spread to all the gardens. Therefore, I will pull out this right away. You may or may not agree with my theory, but I strongly advise everyone to get rid of any dead growth as quickly as possible. Here is another example. This garden has been going very well for a long time. But the moment this plant started having some dry growth, I started seeing uh, all the spider mites here. Look at all these nasty spider mites. So this dry growth proved again and again that it may lead to spider mites.